and welcome to Investigating Iowa. My name is Sarah. Today we are at the Hawkeye Cat Club Cat Show in Altoona, Iowa, and I'm so excited to get started. We've already seen so many cats judged and win first place in their categories, but we're going to take a deeper dive and look into the different cat types and the cat owners and what it's like being a show cat. All right, everybody, I am here with Selma, and she's been doing this for three years, right? And she has her cat, and what's the cat's name? His name is Calypso, and yes, he is a male. Okay, and how did you come up with Calypso's name? His mother's name was Save the Last Dance for Me, so his siblings have names of dances. So he has a sister named Foxtrot and another sister named Quickstep, both of whom are lovely little show kittens as well. And how old is he? He is six months. And he's kind of a unique breed. <laughs> Do you want to talk a little bit about that? And it's a fabulous breed. He's a Cornish Rex kitten. And they were discovered originally in Cornwall, England in 1950. Um, they, they're a naturally occurring genetic mutation. The, the main feature of a Cornish Rex is their beautiful wavy Marcel coat. They have just lovely soft, I don't know, did you feel him? Did you pet how soft he is? I was told not to pet the cats unless I was, oh my gosh, he's so soft. But it's a wavy coat and they have large ears set high on the head, um, an egg-shaped an egg-shaped head, very long legs, they're just kind of a, they're a symphony of, of curls and, and arches. I mean, they're just, they're known as the greyhound of the cat world. They're very racy cats. So they're, and they're busy. They're very, very, they're interactive cats. So how'd you get him ready for the circuit? Because I'm thinking about getting my cat involved, but I don't know how to get started getting my cat ready because he's kind of a psycho. <laughs> well, first of all, you have to, is your cat declawed? Yeah, in, in this particular organization, they don't accept any cat that's been declawed in the household pet. So assuming you have claws, you clip their claws, make sure they're nice and short, give him a bath, make sure he's nice and clean. If he's used to being handled, all the better, and just come and have fun. It really is fun. And so what what are people going to expect when they come to a day full of cat showing? Because I, this is my first cat show and it is a very unique experience. It is. You know, people think of dog shows and you parade the dogs around. You don't do that. You know, we are not parading our cats around. That would be chaos. <laughs> so, but each, each judge has their own ring. And so the cats go up into each individual judge and they're, they're judged as if it's a separate show. So these cats and kittens, they're accruing points in each judge's ring. And, you know, one, what, one judge might not final a cat. The other judge might think that's the best cat. And it's not too common that every single, a cat makes every single ring. There's just too many beautiful cats here. But you go to, you know, there's a, the, the first round, you take your cat up and they, the, the judges take a look and then they pick their, their favorites and then they call for finals and then you bring them back up into the ring. And many of the judges will take the cats out of the cage and talk about the different breeds and the unique qualities. It's, it's, I've learned about cats and I've had cats for all my life. We are here with Chastity and Tracy. We are going to talk a little bit about their type of cat today. Now, tell me the official title of this cat. I have a chocolate and white bicolor and a lilac tabby and white. Okay. The Persians. Okay, and there's quite a few Persians here today. And you were talking about kind of how the competition's a little bit tough. Um, so tell me about what the competition's like here. What do they look for in a Persian cat? Well, everything is round, round, round. You want small, round ears, a beautiful round smile and expression, round chest, cobby round body, short tail, and it just completes a beautiful full package. And how would somebody see a Persian and know it's a Persian? I mean, you, the face is very, very familiar and the fluffiness. <laughs> um, so how would somebody see a cat and be like, that's a Persian? 
I would say the face and then the full coat is pretty much a dead giveaway it's a Persian. Most people are aware that it is a Persian with the you know, flat face, a lot of people call him the smushy face or something like that, or the grumpy cat. And you were telling me about the grooming of this cat earlier today, and it takes a lot. Yes, it's, a, it's an hour in the bath, and then another hour being dried. And you said you gotta move the fur up and fluff, like, while it's being blow dried, correct? It's a high power dryer. A lot of people think because we use hair dryers on our hair, that's, that's going to take care of this, but it doesn't. A human hair dryer uses evaporation heat as a means to dry the hair, but if we were to use heat on their coats when drying them, it would dry out their coats. So we have to use high-powered, high-pressure machine blowers uh, that are professional in the industry. So you can get down to the skin and literally blow the water off of the coat. Now, what are you doing right now with the cat? You were talking about, you know, you have all these utensils over here. What are you currently doing? Well, she's getting ready to go into a ring. So what I'm doing is I'm cleaning the eyes and then I'm drying them. And then just putting a little powder under there to cover up any little stains that there might be. And just make sure they're clean and dry to take her up into the ring. Their eyes water quite a bit sometimes. Now, I've seen a lot of coffee filters on cats today. Um, what are those for? <laughs> We use those uh, to keep the fur out of the mouth. When they're drinking from the water bowls or the water bottles, it's really easy to get the hair in the mouth. Um, also, when they're grooming themselves, hair gets stuck in the mouth. And if the hair is wet, then the hair will curl. And if it's always wet, then it will stain. So we keep coffee filters on them as an inexpensive, rip it off, ready to go way to keep them dry and clean. here with Jane Lamas and iCloud, which is the number one cat in the United States right now, correct? That is correct. And so tell me how you got this spot with iCloud. Well, the show season starts on May the 1st and it ends on April 30th the following year. So the first week of the show, I took him out and he was highest scoring. So a lot of friends were telling me, why don't you try him and keep him out a little bit longer? And every time we would go to a show, he would be highest scoring, highest scoring. And after that, I guess the show bug got me and I decided to keep it going. But you've been doing this since 1997. I mean, you're quite the veteran in this field. So how did you prepare iCloud to be so top scoring? Well, it's careful breeding. I always study pedigrees and I always think ahead of time, what sire and what dam would be good together to you know promote the breed in the best way of the written CFA standard. And you came all the way from Atlanta for this show and you were telling me a little bit about how you travel with them. Can you explain that? Oh sure. There are special carriers that we use that we that can fit under the seat and mine's called a sturdy carrier and it's a lot of fun going through TSA because when you're going through security the paparazzi paparazzi come up and they start taking your picture and the cat's picture. It's it's and he's a good traveler. He doesn't try to run. People ask me all the time, do you need a special room? No, I don't need a special room. I can just hold him, go through the security and put him right back in his bag. You were just kind of fluffing up his eyes a little bit and he's a white so we were talking about you know it's harder to hide some of the imperfections. That's correct. You can't show a stained cat. You have to have him where his paws are completely glistening white. The, the coat factor has to be glistening white. Even the little back parts have to be free of stain. 